Ben brak di Yahwa, brakata Yahusha, brak di Yahwa, brakata Yahusha ba Shem rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, and salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, and I quote: "Let's pray the Cold War doesn't turn hot." Source R T. Article entitled, Let's Pray the Cold War Between America and Russia Doesn't Turn Hot. Published on the 17th of April, 2022. The Cold War, a term coined 75 years ago, is still here. And it's better than what seems to be the only alternative. In April... 1947, the term Cold War was uttered for the first time to describe the geopolitical rift between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. At this time frame, America and Russia has a status of Cold War. According to Google search, Cold War means a state of political hostility between countries such as America and Russia, characterized by threats, propaganda, and other measures short of open warfare. Check this out. The states of political hostility that existed between the Soviet bloc countries and the U.S.-led Western powers from 1945 to 1990. What is a hot war? Source, Merriam-Webster. A conflict involving actual fighting. And based on prophecy, Based on the counsel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the status of America and Russia having a Cold War status will become hot. Okay, the scriptures speak of WW3, which also can be characterized as a hot war. Okay. So America and Russia will have the status of a hot war. Revelation 11 and 14, the second woe is past, WW2. And behold, the third woe come quickly, WW3. This entails WW3. Matthew 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And you can equate America versus Russia, right? And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And these words are Yahushua's words. Second Ezra 13 and 31. And one shall undertake to fight against another. One city against another. One place against another. Hence what? Russia and America, one people against another, and one realm against another. And if you want to be uh, semi-specific, one people against another people. Now, although Americans and Russians are nothing but Edomites, all right, based on the lineage of their fathers, however, you can equate Russia versus America, or Russians versus Americans, Okay, to this scripture, one people against another. This entails what? WW3, proving that America and Russia's Cold War status will become a hot.
not war status. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and, and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, all right, shall bring again, meaning what? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is going to free the nation of Israel from Esau's captivity or from Esau's dominion slash rulership, all right, beginning with the elect. Verse 2, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Okay? This entails what? WW3 in the Middle East. And will plead, meaning judge, with them, therefore my people, Israelites, and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. All right? And the Most High is going to use the issues amongst America and Russia, okay, to initiate WW3 because these are the main components, okay, in WW3, America versus Russia. <laughs> Isaiah 13, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, all right, the Medes, modern-day Russians against them, against them, meaning who? Modern-day Americans, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruits of the womb, their eye shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, Babylon, modern-day America, the beauty of the Chaldeas, excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrown, so like you overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. This entails what? WW3, which proves what? That America and Russia will have a hot war status. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 1. The word that the Lord Yahweh spoke against Babylon, modern-day America, and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare you among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Verse 3, for out of the north, all right, Russia, there come up a nation against her, Russia, which shall make her land desolate. America, desolate means what? Utterly empty. And what will utterly empty America or total destroy America? Nuclear fire. And none shall dwell therein, and that's literal. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. Again, WW3 will happen. However, it will not happen before Revelation, the 13th chapter. Lord, will you edify? Shalom.